Greetings, this is the Baron, and here we are with another round of the Ice Age only tournament, uh, qualifiers that is. We have Leshrex Conquest versus Joggle Hop Smash Face. So, here's my deck again, to, just to recap. We're going Red Black Land Destruction. Packing three rituals, the three restricted cards, well three of the restricted cards, Necropotence, Jester's Cap, Zorn Orb. Here's some of the Land Smashers. Play set of uh, Stone Rains. Fumaroles, I got three. Four Ice Quakes, does a damage to you if you got a snow covered land that's destroyed. Single Conquer, two Orca Squatters. And then in the Answers category, I'm rolling the Incinerate, two Fire Covenants, a set of Soul Burns, two of the X Spells, Lava Burst, only a single Shatter in this deck. Playing Mind Twist, Mind Warp. Play set of Abyssal Spectres and two Pump Knights. And my opponent today is Ragnar. His deck is called The Jokes on You. He's packing a few of the usuals and a few special fun things we can check out here. Up top, he's rolling three Hurricanes and they are just ready to knock my Spectres out of the sky. He's got this Elf that taps for two green, Flinhorn Dryad, I believe it's called, Flinhorn Elder. Yeah, there he is, the Elder. Three mana to cast, tap for two green. He's got Forgotten Lore, which will fetch stuff out of his graveyard. He's got that Land Search card. Zorn Orb, two more Elders there. Two of the oh, play set, they're just scattering the left and the right here in this pretty deck design. The uh, Flinhorn Elves, which are just uh, like a Llanowar Elf. Ooh, and here's a big boy, the Yachl Worm. Yachl Worm, I can't pronounce that. He's six cast for a six six beast boy. Uh, for each blocking creature assigned to block the worm beyond the first, he gets a minus two, minus one to the end of the turn. So he's still a solid 6-6, six, six really. Who And if you only have one blocker for him, which you're probably chump blocking, uh, he's just going to nom, 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 eat your boy. So moving on, we got another beef smasher, the 5-5 five, five Shambling Strider. He's got a hefty casting cost as well, also six mana. It, and he reads a red and a green. He gets plus one, minus one, ten in a turn. So, without any other further adjustments, you can actually get this up to a nine one. You know, if he's unblocked and that's something you want to commit to. Or if you're afraid to incinerate, you just make it six or seven to round off the 21, but then you're risking that three damage to burn him out. Still, beastie boys. And they'll be coming out quick with Tinderwall. Tinderwall has long been one of my favorite cards. For one green, you get a 0-3, kind of like Wall of Wood, but with all these cool powers. Well, all right, it's two powers, but it feels like a lot. You can sack it for two red, or you can pay a red and sack it to shock the creature it blocks. So that's pretty exciting. Pretty exciting stuff, you know, I think. It it's, can be used so many different ways, and people forget about the second ability, you know, that the Tinder Wall could strike back. <laughs> it's got to sack itself, but... It can come in handy. It really can. What else we got here? Oh my, look at this card. Ragnar is playing Ice Cauldron. Now, this card, I remember reading about it actually in Inquest Magazine, or maybe it was a duelist, not sure. But it was just highlighting how much text is on this thing. And they were like, what does it even do? You know, this is before YouTube, this is before any of this, you know, talking about cards really. It's just. You know, he had articles about stuff. He got little combos in there sometimes. And there was just a whole little excerpt about the Ice Cauldron and how it's just like, what does this card even do? <laughs> and you know what? I'm not going to read it to you. You figure it out. <laughs> does, does that mean? Uh, that's probably mean. All right. Basically, the gist is you can pay mana into a card, exile it, and then you can finish paying it off on another turn or the same turn, I think. And it's got to tap. So basically on another turn by tapping it again, pay the remaining of the casting costs in Carlos mana. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Carlos. I'm not reading it. I'm just trying to go off memory here. And then, boom, you got a creature. You do risk it being lost in exile forever if the Ice Cauldron gets destroyed while the creature is exiled. But that'll help get his six mana worms out. You can pay three now, three later, no problem. He's also running two Lugrofs, which can get pretty beasty in this format. 
a single war chariot. Check this out. It's a simple artifact. You can give your creature trample to you in a turn. And when you're playing beasts this big, that's something you might want. He's playing the uh, depletion lands. The, I don't know what you call them. Frosty lands, slow lands. Uh, they stay tapped an extra turn. They t and you take a depletion counter off of them. And then they'll untap like normal. And the big star of the show here, right in the middle of those red cards, Yawkle Hops. This card does it all. There you go. Artifacts, creatures, and lands. Clears the board. Well, let's see how these decks face off against each other. Here is game number one. Uh, before we even get started, I should give you fair warning. I only managed to see the recording of one and most of game two. So there is no game three uh, recorded here. And I don't even finish game two, and I'm so sorry. I do get close to the end. You can kind of figure out how it ends. But uh, for now, I, I, I at least one good game here you could enjoy. So if, you know, it's going to peeve you off, you know, that you don't get to see a finish a game. Uh, it just, you know, X out after game one. <laughs> but if you don't mind, you, you know, going to soak up and enjoy all the old school-ish content you can. And, you know, Ice Age really does it for you. Then stick around and uh, see what I do have to offer. You know, which is half-assed, you know, whatever I can. And you're welcome. <laughs> That's what I got. All right. So, Swamp by me. Forest into a tinder roll for my opponent, Ragnar. Which is basically where he wants to be. It's four out of six mana that he needs. I got two black. And that will... Ooh, a ritual. Abyssal Spectre. Okay. I was actually a little worried there. I'm like, what am I even doing for two black? There's no sinkholes in this format. All right, he's at five mana. If he has another Tinder Wall, he's at six this turn. I could be facing down the Jockel Worm. But no, here is a Flynnhorn Elder, the 1-1 one, one that taps for two. So next turn, it puts him at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeesh. That could hurt. But here I come in for two. Drops into 18. He's got a discard a card, which that's great. It's where I want to be. You know, get rid of whatever that is. Whatever beast you're holding, I want him gone. And what was it? It was a it was a tinder wall. Ooh. Okay. So and he's into a strider. There's a six mana. He dropped a land to get there, so he didn't need to sack the wall. Four, five, six, five, five, shambling strider. Yikes. So not a lot of cards in my deck can get me out of this one. Um coming in for two to start. Drops him to 16. He's not sacking the wall for an incinerate or anything. Not, you know, not that he has them, but what do I know at this point? Just kind of hoping for the best here. And I am behind on land. And this keeps happening to me. But I got three, and that is enough for a fire covenant. Woo! Paying five, six, seven, eight, nine life. Wow, half my life gone. But his board is clear. His board's clear. He's down to 16. I got the two three flyer in the sky, so I'm feeling okay about this. I'm feeling okay about this. Still, he's got a lot of mana. He was discarding Tinder Walls. He might have more ramp. And I just I probably need one or two more mana to just get rolling here. There is Ice Cauldron. Yeesh. So, like I said, you could pump mana into something, hide it in a cauldron. And then finish paying for it later. You just put it on layaway. And uh, it'll get your card out. But I'm leaving it up on a screen in case you want to actually read this word for word. Which, like I said, I'm half joking. I'm not doing. So, <laughs> hopefully you got it. It's about to come off the screen. And boom. You know, like I said, you could have paused. Anyway, there's my fourth mana. Two in the sky drops you to 14. Make you pitch something. What's it gonna be? Oh, uh, he uh, he got a little, he kept taking me off from one side, I think, and he's realized. So we're fixing our life total. I'm at 11. He's at 14. Uh, and I guess he's hell bent. No cards in hand. So here is a stone rain, taken out of forest. Oh no, he had a yeah yeah forest. Thought it might have been a uh, a dual land, a pain land. Four mana, into the strider. So he's got two left to finish paying off the layaway to get that guy out. Oof. I can't keep fire covenant these boys out. It's, it's, I can't. How long could I survive like that? 
Uh, do come in for the two, drops in the 12, so we're pretty even on life. And all my damage is just from that one fire covenant. He's actually explaining how this card works a little better for me. And I shatter it, so boom, the strider is gone. No more layaway creatures for you. If you don't have the mana, they're not getting out. And my goal is to take away that mana. But he is persistent. So three, four, five, um, four, five, six mana again next turn at his disposal. Two in the air, drops from the ten. Red and three. Soul burn the elf out for one. Brings him back up to twelve. And cuts him off of that mana that he so desperately needs. He needs to be at six. Especially with the ice cauldron gone now. And here I go, just that one Abyssal Spectre doing a lot of work this game. Drops in the eight. Conqueror Forest. That's mine now. Gimme. And back to him. Drawn. He's got one card in hand now. He couldn't play it. Wasn't a land. So he's going to lose it. Ice Storm. I'm sorry, Ice Storm. Uh, Stone Rain. And, ooh, was that the worm? It was the big boy worm. So, land destruction is doing its job, keeping them off the mana. That soul burn, that mattered, because if I didn't have it, that worm be in play right now. He's at two. Here's a cap. I want to see the deck. And what a play. You know, he. I, if he wanted to be kind of like cheesy, he could have scooped a response, just so I didn't see his deck. But he played fair. He played honest. He played good. It's the way he should be. You know, that's, we're all here to play to enjoy the game. And I see he's got the Jockle Hops. I'm like, ooh, that's scary. Uh, I see the Hurricane. And I, I like, didn't even realize he's at two life here. I was like, no, get rid of the Hurricanes. I want them gone. <laughs> so he's playing three. I pulled all three out. Even though it would have killed him to cast the Hurricane. But, uh, like I said, I was only half paying attention. I, is there a better play? Something else that I should have got? I don't think so. I don't think anything in his deck's really going to get him out of this. So, he knows that. He calls it. And, like I said, this is the only full, complete game on this video. So, if you want to leave now, I don't blame you. But we are going into what I do have of game number two. Right after this quick side... Well, no, there is no sideboards. We're going right in, baby. Here we are. Shuffle up. Deal those cards. <laughs> so, one O and me. And, getting these piles all figured out. This was such a blast. This whole tournament. You know, Ice Age, it's just the art, the flavor, uh, the color hosing on the cards. Just so good. Ooh, I'm going down. Going to take a mulligan. That's bro. That's rough. That's especially rough in this kind of format, I feel like, too. If you're playing a deck like Ragnar's, you, it doesn't really affect you so much because you could just ramp out and do what you got to do. But every card less than seven that I gotta, you know, go for, that hurts. That hurts me. I mean, it hurts anyone, I guess, even if you are playing a fast stick like Ragnar's. And he gets his perfect start land and elf. On to me. Here's a mountain. Pass and turn. And you know, I remember my hand um, from the discussion we had. Because when I make these videos, I. I like I put it in a 1.5 speed so I could sort of hear what we're saying, um, or I'll someone's do two times speed, but this one's in 1.5, and I can kind of listen to what we're saying. And I remember at some point I did admit to him that I had all land in my opening hand. <laughs> it was all land plus one other card, and uh, well, I wasn't gonna go down to four. Uh, sorry, five or four, you know, maybe, but. Here we are. He's got plenty of mana. His deck is working just as intended. Next turn, he should have six. And if not, I'm just going to eat another two from elves, I guess. Yeah. Ooh, he did not get a land. He did not get another mana source. Or He didn't cast it yet if he did. Does he have something to follow up this with? Or am I going to have a chance to cut this mana off? Ooh, nothing. No elf, no land. No tinder wall. So, I've hit four mana. And Stone Rain. Boom! Keeping you off. Alright. These two elves are still going to be a problem. I'm down to 15 already. But he is now really starving for mana. Like, here are two forests, two elves. Right, he's up to three now. 
But if I could clear those elves out with a fire covenant, you know, for two life, two elves gone, ooh, that would just really cut them off. Here's a lot of mana, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Joggle hops. This is where I tell them, you know, well, not yet, but, you know, I'm still got land to play. <laughs> and uh, he expected that to really cripple me, but I was already crippled. I was mana flooded. <laughs> so I did have another land to play. So did he. He was ready for it. It's the slow land, the frosty land. I think it's called Timberline Ridge. And me, Mountain Mountain, two Timberline Ridges for him, pays a green for the Elf, uh, and it's stuck slow now. I do incinerate the Elf, I take him right out, because, well, he's not slow, well, whereas the Ridge is. And there's a Pain Land. All right, I'm just reminding him that his land has a depletion counter on it, or I guess it's actually taken away there, so it'll untap next turn. On to me. Can I get a swamp? I feel like I need swamps. And, oof, looks like I got nothing to do. Quick pass back, quick pass back again. Three red doesn't get me anywhere. I need two black. So we're passing turn again. There's a forest. The first mana source doesn't either hurt him or go slow. Four mana, Jester's Cap. All right, one and one. And there's that shatter again, that one and only shatter. Came up when I need it twice now. Oh, man, that, that is good. He's only getting two lands back next turn, so if I got a way to kill that forest or the Capucin forest, this is the time. Ooh, Ritual from the Swamp, three for five. Orcish Squatters, two, three. They can steal lands instead of dealing damage. Yikes. This is a, a rough spot for my opponent, Ragnar. If he can't deal with those Squatters, I'm going to take all that mana away from him. So I start off with the easy one. Give me the forest. Oh, and that was it. That's all I had for that video. But I did win this battle. I um, won... I don't know. If, I think I won two, and he won one. I won, only went 3-0 once. But, uh... Hey. I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed the match. Even though it did get cut short, that was just a downhill slope for Ragnar there, and it ended pretty swiftly after. But, hey, if you made it this far, I want to thank you very much. Hey, if you like what you see as usual, my Patreon is up on the screen. The link's in the description. If you like what I do, you want to give me something for my services, a little tip. Boom, Baron Nick. Hey, this is the Baron, and I'm done here.